this uh, room is the dining room, of course, and the table is set like for Sunday dinner. Families often went to church and brought someone home with them because that was a form of their entertainment. They didn't have televisions and computers and electronic games and all that sort of stuff that we have today, but visiting was a big thing with, with farm families. Here we have a pass-through cupboard that goes right through to the kitchen because the back doors here were open and you could literally pass the food through or pass the dirty dishes back to the kitchen. Of course, if you were going to do that, you'd have to have one of these shelves would have to be empty. The woodwork in this house is all um, original except that it was refinished in the 1950s. The wood came from the farm, they cut the trees down, they hauled it to the mill down by the river, and Mr. Rensler's brother, who was a professional builder, built the house for him in 1906. You see this beautiful egg and dart detail above the cupboard. And actually, uh, that is in all the rooms above the, wherever there's woodwork. You can see it even in the kitchen, and I think it's in the living room also, and I know it's in the parlor. Over here, we have the old-fashioned telephone that had a party line, and the phone would ring a certain signal for each family. The signal for the Rentschlers was two long rings and three short rings. To make a call, you took the receiver off the hook, put it to your ear, and rang out the operator. And the operator was in an office uptown, and you'd say, she would say, numbers, please, and you'd say, operator, I want to call the uh, hardware store. Please connect me. And then she would do that. And they would, they would, uh, you could continue your call that way. You certainly couldn't take the receiver and walk around like we do with our phone today. You had to stand here very closely. 